How's it going everyone? Brothers Times here and uh, today we're going to be taking a look on how to uh, use Direct Package Installer to install games packages and apps packages to your PS4 without the need for Remote Package Installer. I know that a lot of people have issues with Remote Package Installer and I hope that this method will be better for you. So uh, first things first, we have to download Direct Package Installer and don't do that from here because the version is not in here. You have to scroll down here in the uh, readme file and download uh, the build uh, for your windows system if you have a 64-bit windows download the x64 if you have a 32-bit system download the x86 so that's the first thing that you have to do of course you have to download a uh, direct package installer once you have the uh, app downloaded to your computer just go ahead and extract it there are no viruses so uh, no worries there now we're just going to go ahead and uh, open it by simply double clicking on it and uh, we're going to be prompted with this message here telling us that we need to download uh, net desktop runtime 6.05 simply click on yes and uh, it will take you to this page here now when you get to this page you have to download both files you have to download uh, net runtime for console and net uh, runtime for uh, desktop apps okay so you have to download both of them if you have a 64-bit windows download the x64 files if you have a 32-bit windows system download the x86 files but you have to download both of them you can't just download one of them both okay so download both of them desktop and console so click on download and uh, you're going to be taken to a new page here you can either click on the link to download the uh, app through the browser or you can just go and copy it to download uh, the uh, app with idm or any downloader manager that you have so I'll just click on the link uh, for the app to start downloading. And then we're just gonna go and download the other one. All right, we're done. I got two file, the two files. Now uh, installing is pretty simple. Just click on install and that's it. It doesn't take long. All right, that's the first one. Now let's install the second one. Install and we're done with the uh, Microsoft runtime. Now let's go ahead and open the uh, uh, direct package installer itself. Double click on it. All right, and you're gonna be greeted uh, with this uh, message from the uh, developer Marcus Andre. You can choose to read it or just click OK. All right, now we have the uh, app ready to be used. Let me just drag it to the middle. And the first thing that you have to do is go to options, click on it, and then go to IP address. Now we have to type the PS4's IP address here. So type it here. And notice how there is no uh, button to save the IP address, okay? So there is no button, we're gonna click somewhere and it will be automatically saved. Now type the PC's IP address here. And once you're done, just click anywhere uh, inside the app uh, to save the uh, settings. Okay, so click here, for example, and uh, it's going to be saved. Let's check it out. All right, it has been saved. So now all that is left is to choose a package by clicking on open. And uh, I'm going to select a package. Of course, you can use direct links because this app uh, uses direct links. You can use a direct link, copy and paste it here, and then click open. Okay, for me, I'm just gonna use this uh, uh, packages that I have on my PC. So click open and notice how it doesn't show it uh, the first time you select it. So you have to click on open to see the details of the package that you've chosen. Down here, we can see that uh, it's a fake package. It's not a retail package. And if we scroll down here, we can see the uh, games version, which is 1.00. Now, uh, let's just go to the PS4, and the first thing that we have to do on the PS4 is, of course, enable the jailbreak. Now, when you enable the jailbreak, uh, make sure that you use Goldhan 2.0b or higher, because we need bin loader server, and the bin loader server is not available on uh, Goldhan versions below 
2.0b so make sure when you uh, jailbreak the ps4 that you use gold hand 2.0b or higher okay so that's very very important all right the ps4 has been jailbroken now uh, let's move on to the next step by going to the playstation 4 settings so go to settings and go to gold hand settings click on that and enable bin loader server okay you should get the notification it has been enabled now once you have bin loader enabled go back to a uh, direct package installer okay i'm going to go back to the home screen so we can see uh, the app being installed now simply click on install all right and we should get two notification one down here saying package sent and one up there saying that uh, a payload has been received if you don't get the package sent notification here it means uh, and only get the uh, payload received it means that uh, the app is not being installed and there is no point in waiting you're going to end up getting an error that i will mention at uh, the end of the video so the app has been installed uh, the game let's go ahead and try it out yeah works fine now i'm going to go ahead and try to install the update for this game so uh, i'm going to go back to the direct package installer which is right here i'm going to click on open okay and i'm going to go and select the update for this game which is update 1.24 don't forget to click on open a second time to uh, display the correct info all right it's up here the update version 1.24 it can also be seen here all right now click on install and we should get two notifications one here and one in the ps4 all right Let's go to the notifications and it's right here. It's a small update, so should go, all right. It has been installed. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the game again and check the uh, version of the game just to show you that the update has been installed. As you can see, it's 1.24. Let's go ahead and try to install another game, which is Hideo Kojima's Masterpiece PT. Okay, it's right here. There's something weird about this. I don't know why it says down there, uh, retail, uh, while it's a fake package and uh, it runs on a jailbroken PS4. Not sure why it says uh, retail down there. So again, we're gonna hit install and we're gonna get two notifications and the game should appear uh, in the PS4's dashboard. So as you can see, uh, no remote package installer, uh, no errors, no nothing, just a straightforward process. Uh, there's one thing though, you have to keep the app open for the uh, game to be installed. However, however, if you use a direct link, let's say you copied and pasted a direct link here and uh, the game started installing on the ps4 you can close direct package installer because the ps4 will be downloading the game from the link that you provided however if you're installing this from uh, your pc you have to keep the app open okay as you can see uh, the game is working fine without any issues now let's talk about that issue that error message that you may encounter which is this one right here dpi get info error this is simply a microsoft firewall issue and it can be simply fixed by using the fab tool it's a very small tool download it and now go to add application select direct package installer okay click open and now notice here how it's not allowed. So we have to click on the uh, green check mark here to allow it. It has been allowed. Go to inbound rules to and select the app again and allow it through the firewall. If you can do this uh, in Windows 10 without this tool, well, that's cool. Go ahead and do it. Just allow direct package installer through 
your firewall and uh, you'll be fine. So uh, this is just one of the features that this great tool by developer Marcus Andre allows you to do, uh, which is installing uh, packages without the need for a remote package installer. But there are many of other features uh, that you can read about in the GitHub page of this tool. Uh, you can also read about what uh, file host servers this uh, tool allows that you can uh, uh, copy links from them. Uh, it allows you to use uh, ZipiShare, Pixel Drain, Mediafire, Google Drive, and uh, it also allows you to install games even if they are compressed with uh, RAR and 7Z format. So, uh, plenty of things here, plenty of features, uh, a lot of uh, uh, instructions here on how to use this great tool. So. Uh, that's it. This is a wrap. This is the end of the video. Uh, if you found this uh, video helpful, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button and uh, share the video if you like it. That's it. Take care and I'll see you soon.